Thanks for checking out the Psych Hope Self-Help Podcast, now on YouTube. Our podcast launched on most major podcast directories back in December of 2022. And as of December 2023, we're making our episodes available for all the lovely people who prefer listening to podcasts on YouTube. There may be times when the dates don't match up, so thank you in advance for your understanding. Please refer to the video description for links to any resources discussed during the show. We'll be sure to point you in the right direction. Hello and welcome. You're listening to the Psych Hope Self-Help Podcast, a space for women where psychology illuminates paths to healing hope and personal growth. I'm Dr. Jennifer McManus, a clinical psychologist, and I'll be your host. Each episode, we'll explore a different way to use psychology to enhance emotional wellness. Hope you enjoy the show. Thank you so much for tuning into the very first episode of the Psych Hope Self Help Podcast. In just a moment, I'll make sure you know what qualifies me to host a podcast on psychology informed self help tips. Then we'll really get into the inspiration for this emotional wellness podcast. And last, we'll wrap up with what you can expect to hear on future episodes. So I'm recording this episode in early December of 2022, but this podcast has been in me for a while. The Psychope Self-Help Podcast is a new way I'm answering a calling that I've been feeling for quite some time now, a calling to support women on journeys of healing hope and personal growth. I've already been answering this calling in other ways though, and this is where my qualifications come in. I originally answered this calling by gaining the education and training needed to earn a PhD in clinical psychology so I could become a licensed psychologist and provide evidence-based psychotherapy. I am so grateful for the privilege I have had and continue to have serving in a professional role for those making life-changing transformations through therapy. In my role as a psychotherapist, I have also seen that so much healing and personal growth happens outside of therapy sessions, when people are applying what they learned in therapy while living their everyday lives. I've also seen how resilient people have been with handling some pretty challenging emotional situations before even starting therapy. They were building resiliency by using self-help resources. I'm also repeatedly impressed by results from psychological research studies on self-help interventions. For example, there were some recent studies with findings indicating that using self-help strategies can prevent mental illness in groups at risk for developing a mental disorder like depression and post-traumatic stress disorder. I also know from my own personal lived experience how valuable self-help practices can be. I remember how when driving back to college after weekends at home, how I would pull over in the beautiful scenery of New England to read a few more pages of Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, the Hungarian-American psychologist who brought us the concept of flow. I was glued to the pages of his book in an effort to glean ways in which I could improve my own life through this fascinating concept. And to anyone fluent in the Hungarian language, thank you for your patience with my pronunciation of his name. Of course, I'd have to reference one of the most difficult to pronounce psychologist names on my podcast debut. So shifting back, the Psychope Self-Help Podcast really has been in me for quite some time. I'm so excited that through this podcast, I can reach even more people as I answer the calling of helping others on their healing journeys. I believe there are many paths to healing and have great respect for other paths such as bodywork or spiritual practices. Here on the Psychope Self-Help Podcast, we will focus on exploring paths to healing hope and personal growth that are informed by psychology. And so another reason I'm inspired to create this podcast is because I'm passionate about treating our mental health and emotional wellness 
with the same level of importance we do for our physical health. I like to use the analogy that engaging in self-help practices such as journaling or mindfulness meditation is to psychotherapy sessions as going to the gym to work out is to getting an annual physical with your general practitioner. I do want to take a brief moment here to clarify the meaning of the term self-help. There are two parts to its definition. First, self-help can mean the actions we take in the face of life's challenges. And it also refers to steps and practices designed to better or improve ourselves in some way. So it really is a both and sort of concept. You are perfectly fine as you are and you want to grow. You can give yourself grace and compassion for perceived mistakes of the past and prefer to make different choices in the future. Now, here's what you can expect for upcoming episodes of the Psychope Self-Help Podcast. In the next episode, I'm going to share with you why I've chosen to focus on providing a self-help space specifically for women. I'll discuss mental health challenges and complexities experienced by women, along with ways to prioritize our emotional well-being. In the third episode, I'm going to share some very practical ideas that can really set you up for success on your healing journey. And then, because it is indeed the holiday season at the time of recording, I'll be providing you with 12 days of holiday stress relief. You can expect daily episodes on tools and approaches that can help with various sources of holiday stress, like travel, time management, and difficult family dynamics. Near the end of the year, you'll hear an episode with guidance on setting meaningful New Year's resolutions. Then we'll welcome 2023 with some psychology-informed tips for making progress on self-improvement and personal goals. After that, you can expect weekly episodes on psychology-informed self-help interventions for a variety of life challenges like stress, anxiety, burnout, imposter syndrome, breakups. You can also look forward to episodes focusing on personal growth through practices like mindfulness, self-compassion, and values exploration. Please be sure to follow the show so you can catch the topics that interest you. Thank you so much for listening to this very first episode. I can't wait to share with you all that is to come. The information shared on the Psych Hope Self-Help Podcast is done so with the understanding that it does not constitute professional help, nor is it a substitute for professional help. If you think you might benefit from more than self-help, there are resources listed in the show notes.